Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Dragon Age Inquisition. Today, we're actually going to be doing Here Lies the Abyss, but first I wanted to talk to Cassandra and see how she's doing. Things seem to be going out with Josephine, but I, I'm still kind of... My heart's still there for Cassandra. Apparently we teleported inside. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Stubborn is that? Eh, probably not the good idea. Can I help you with whatever you're staring Something at? I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. That'd make things easier. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars or anywhere. That was her I boss, have a right? suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Couldn't they be dead? This is important to you. Couldn't they be dead? Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes. Don't take they offense to that, jeez. The and it probably would have been easy. This war against the mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. What if they were infected? Because that but might be bad. they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Oh, this does seem very important to you. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor... So I'm guessing this is I going to appreciate. open an operation for me. Or give me a side quest. Well, we're inside now, which is kind of good because I need to go to the war room. But it didn't open up a operation or side quest. Okay. Well, Josephine, how's it going? Oh, I get another cutscene. Inquisitor, I must speak with you. Oh, what is it? Anytime. I must explain something first about the Montelier's fortunes. My family made their fortune as traders in Antiva until a scandal exiled us from Orlais some ages ago. It devastated our finances. The Montiliers have, in fact, been in debt for over a year. You're wearing like years. a gold hem robe. How are you in debt? I'm not giving you a loan. Okay, correct. We won't give her money. That's sure. But let's let's not blow it here. I'm sorry I didn't know. You don't seem poverty sick stricken. I mean, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I had no idea you. You really don't see like you're so poor. Precarious. You get like a Hardly lot of jewelry and awesome robes does. on. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. But you're not actually poor... So it's mostly just land, not... Uh, wait, I think I might have missed something. These usually don't stop me from, like, doing the, the conversation. They just enlighten me. They're investigations. But you're not actually poor. Most people worry about their next meal. Never mind an estate. I'm not blind, but I worry for my family. My foolish sister Yvette with her daydreams. My brothers trying to rebuild our fleet with their own hands. Is it wrong to hope they never know hardship? Alright. So that you're not poor comment wasn't the fact that she's selling land for money. Just that she's not so poor that she's in rags or starving. Can I help? Is there anything I can do? I am the helpful I soul. I almost solved our problems for a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale, 
I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. That's some shit luck. Uh, who did it? Do you have any idea who murdered them? Because I'll end them. That bore success. Boyver, Love knows no la laws. He to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. That you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. He sounds desperate. Uh, well, I kind of know where to get it, because I'm the Inquisitor, I'm the leader of the Inquisition, it's popularity, yada yada yada, but I might as well select it. What will that get him? What will being seen with me gain the Comte? The Comte will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Comte will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. All right, if it helps you, I'll go. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means you are too kind. Oh, I, I know. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. Meet with Zerkin. Okay, so that actually gave me a quest, unlike the Cassandra one. And should we do that today? Because we haven't really done too many side quests. Um, which one would that be? Inner Circles. Oh, oh, that's the quest. Okay, we got that actually before we talked to Cassandra. So that did. You know what? All right. I'm going to go and send out some operations, and then we'll go over and meet Josephine in Valrex, whatever it's called. We're in Valrex, whatever it's called, to... It's the Grand Ball and the Winter Palace, you stupid right. fool. Weirdo mask-wearing people. Let's go meet up with Josephine. Where's them? Okay. So I gotta go this way? Is that right? That's not right. Uh, there's stairs over here. All right. So I was, I was putting together the, the party, and I was like, oh, I could take Cole. But I took him last time. Then I'm just, it hit me, because when I was editing, I was looking at uh, the, putting him in my party and how he's a good spirit. And his class ability is assassin. I think he's fucking with us. I don't know. Hi, Josephine. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Well, let's go. Lead the way. <laughs> I brought my best people. A dwarf, an elf, and a very, very angry woman. And now that I think about it, I do have Cassandra with me, and I, if I start flirting with Josephine in front of her... She might get mad because I've been flirting with her, too. Oh, you stupid-looking idiot. I mean, I'm not one to judge based on appearances. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Boisvert. You're no oh, You're a moron. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. Thanks. Uh, we welcome your help. We appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? I can't My contract, see your eyes through that fucking thing, dude. document in the archives. Contract for life. How can you drink with that on? The House of Repose is I sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Who signed that? Who's sending these? Because they're adding to my list now. Is that a B? Signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquets. But the Du Paraquets died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquets were our rivals. They drove the Montiliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. 
Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. Well, clearly we have to kill them. So we destroy this House of Repose before assassins appear at Skyhold's doorstep. There may be a less confrontational way to end this. The two parakets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a du paraket could annul the contract on my life. That seems that a lot harder than killing them. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your um, life is not business. Glitching much, Repose, are you? Is that my coat? I think that was my coat. But this is all a. Even an assassin's world is his bond. Oh, he's not the guy! Did you kill the real one? I'm guessing the actual Comte Boisvert met with a fatal accident. Comte Boisvert slumbers in a nearby closet. Nothing more. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I Ow. wish you luck. Oh, snap him like a twig, Crush. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Uh, why the warning? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? Mm. Um... Shit. Josephine would want me to let him go, wouldn't she? Let him go. Go then. Good day, your worship. My lady, I pray we'd never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll okay. Safer with the castle's walls, Ramby. Yeah, you should probably never leave the castle again. Mm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy in the closet. Is that you? Oh, he's in like this little cabinet thing? The been broken off. We'll find a saw. We will? I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely. A locksmith, then? As you wish. I'm a locksmith. Are you picking the lock, Josephine? Should I leave? All right, we'll leave. Thank you for teleporting me all the way outside and not into your office. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. You had no idea. You don't need to be sorry. Besides, I could have snapped you that guy like a known twig. It would lead to this house of repose coming after you. It still shouldn't have slipped past me. I've tracked down the last du paraquettes. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royale to sponsor them. A judge to provide documents. Val Royale? A to ratify them. I've been trying to understand each time she says that and it keeps slipping through my ears. Even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royale? Uh, I mean, we're trying to get on Josephine's good side, so we should probably go with her, but Liliana does have a point. Uh, 
I'm with you, Josephine. With the, whatever you want to do. Without more deaths on either side. My people are ready. Should you change your mind? We I'll probably will change our minds, Liliana. In case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. Oh, what a smug lug. Liliana, First, we need I to like perform you. some favors in Barwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. Optional dispatch, Liliana. It's assassin. Speak with Josephine about the next move. Next move! Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Oh, uh, that's why I'm talking to you. What's your What's our next I move? I have to do some favors in Valroyo if we want to make the Du Paraquets lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him, and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Du Paraquets as lords. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, shit. I think I sent everyone out on a mission. All right, bad news. We can't do Josephine's quest right now because all my guys are out on operations and I don't feel like waiting three hours for them to finish before starting it. So let's continue with investigate the Western approach. I'm opening up a lot of forces. Of Recommend immediate Not deployment of troops to secure position. You know as soon as well, that's a new one. Our scouts confirm the Inquisitor's reports a large force of Grey Wardens have moved into the Western approach. We need to establish a foothold out there immediately. Let's do it. Commander Colin, we just read this. All right, unlock new area. Venture forth. Who do we want to take? Well, we'll take uh, Blackwall because he's a bl uh, gray warden. I almost said Black Warden. We'll take uh, not Cole this time. Uh, Vivian, I guess, even though I don't really like her. her and Varric. Yeah, it seems fine. Sir, welcome to the Western Approach. We've cited warden activity to the southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. Great. In short, this might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. It's sweet of you to worry. I would Are destroy you. About you. Me? Someone has to be. And try not to die. I don't want to deliver that report to Skyhold. We intercepted a Venatory messenger. like three messenger times the size. <laughs> persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. We have them here. This entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. All right, so there's another dragon in this area. We know there's a dragon, dragon in Hinterlands. This might interest you, sir. Of course. Of course it will. Sure, give me the requisition. Could prove useful, sir. Meet Hawk and Alistair in the Western Approach. How far away is that? So we're going to come down here first, then. And can we ride Epona? We can. Hi, Epona. You kind of came out of nowhere. What's there? Wait, what? Right, one second, Epona. There's, like, a quest here. <laughs> Read. Oh, search for the mines. All right. Let's go, Epona. Let's, like, click the clack and gallop all the way. There is literally a rift right next to our camp. That seems a tad much. What level are you? Okay, you're level 11. That's fine. Oh, but you know what? If we do good in this area... If we do good, I promise uh, we'll go back and we'll fight that dragon because he was level 12. And it will allow me to close those level 12 rifts. I could probably take him right now. Right? I think I could. It's all about having confidence in yourself. You know what Shia LaBeouf always says? Just do it. Also, that has gotten out of hand recently on the interwebs. Look, I'm all up for the occasional viral meme, but good lord. You got a vagina face with teeth. Don't ask me about my exes. Okay. These guys are kind of a lot cooler than they have been in this area of the game. They're not less the terrors, they're just terrors. I'm kind of glad I made Vivian the, uh... Ow. 
the uh, the barrier mage. I close this now because we didn't really have too much of a problem with that fight, which I like. Pwn, are you still here? No, nah, you went away. Any loot? What the fudge is that? Death oot? Hmm, that's weird. Yeah, it's probably death root, I know. Uh, Paragon's letter. Is that a hyena? It's a fucking hyena! Where's Scar? I won't send you to the rip, because that would be me. And also, you're fat as hell, dude. Um, okay, maybe not like fat, but chubby. You, you chubby. One more of those paragons, and there's like a fucking caravan down here. What are these even doing here? It's a good Keep question, Varric. Scale, all right. Anything else here worth of value? No, just random caravan in a hillside. All right. Another goddamn hyena. You know what, hyena? No. Not today. Probably not tomorrow. It's definitely a weird landscape compared to the other places we've been. It's like a hall. There's a cave. We probably shouldn't be going to do that right now, but... More carts and dead bodies. That's not good. Property of the Frederick of Zaraluk, University of Orleans. This is a research camp. Who in Andrusty's name would be out in this desert? Aside from us. What happened here? Nobody should be out here but Grey Wardens. Something's very wrong. Sweet, it's a mystery. Oh, Red Lyrium. Well, here are the missing owners of those carts. Yeah, what's this? Ghoul's beard. Sounds like something I want. Paragons. Oh, we finished that part of the requisition. Where were the bodies? Oh, is this a mosaic piece? It is. Read. Lewis, S says, get the Templars whatever they want. No question asked. Oh, stop, stop asking. They want refugees and travelers. We get them. That's weird. Oh, are they making, like, freaking red Templars themselves? Is this Lazarus? Oh, Lazarite. Chest? Excuse me, loot. Um, that's where. Oh, Magister Staff. Nice. I can actually make something good for my mages. Was there anything else here? Just loot? Any other letters? Interesting. Oh, the chest full of larium. All right. All right. I tried to make it into that cave over there, and it just didn't work. So let's move on down here to the other cave. Whoa. And another quest. Examine. Old Chantry Trail signs. Chantry used these symbols long ago to mark trails to hidden locations. They are often mistaken by passerby's assembly carvings in the rocks. A Chantry symbol out here. Oh. Interesting. Do I gotta go that way? I mean, yes, but I'm hoping there's just a way around. Probably will have to go up there. Can I even get up there? Yes, actually, it was very easy. Ow. Who the hell are you? Another goddamn hyena. You know what? I do not want to play with you. Is this where the camp's supposed to be? I believe it is. Okay. 
Good lord, those hyenas are just constant. Well, they're not really constant. That's just me complaining. Oh, are people? Are you people? White Claw Raider, White Claw Raider. I'm invisible. Backstab. These are new. They're definitely different from the raiders we've, well, bandits we fought before. Also pretty easy. Red Velvet, all right. Is this the camp we're supposed to set up? No, I don't think it is, actually. Research supplies. How far away are from... Ah, oh, we're, we're right there. Epona, come back. Stop teleporting when the camera is, like, turned around. God damn it. There it is. On the cliffside. How romantic. Hurry up, Epona. Uh, I don't think that's actually anything. I saw, like, black dust floating up over here. Like, oh, what's that? It's just sand, I think. Oh, I see a... Rift. Okay, you go away. There was another rift over there. Hmm. But first... Let's come over here. And be like... Yo, dog. This is mine. And thus it was. There's a person over there who looks like a Templar. But I want to go pitch a tent real fast before we go talk to him. Also, who just leaves these out here? If they're taking the effort to put up little freaking tripods, they should at least put up a tent or something. I know there's nothing to report. I've done nothing so far. Except gain one power. Let's go talk to Red Templar dude down here. He seems friendly. Examine. We already know what this is. Ah. The visitors. Thank the speaker. It's been so long since I've spoken to anyone. Have you come to observe the wildlife too? I think I found your supplies. A dead man out in the desert had these on him. Dead? Blessed Andraste. What about Marcus or Jeanette? This is terrible news. I'm trying to I'm talk to you. All right. Leroux, foremost researcher of draconology in Orlais. I came here with an expedition from the university. But the others are all missing, and our work has been halted. White Claw Raiders have made off with much of our supplies. You will help me reclaim the equipment, will you not? You will champion the advancement of science. I found your supplies? I have the supplies you were waiting for right here. But... Oh, some of our equipment is still missing. If you happen to find more of it, please let me know. Yeah, okay, Masked Man. Two out of five. Anything I can steal around here? No? Uh, apparently I completed a quest. Go me? I must go. We'll My planet needs me. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's to your liking. Next time, we'll probably continue to uh, wherever the hell uh, Alistair is. But also, we will probably go back and complete Josephine's side quest. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.